Hello guys and welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hey my name is Anna and I hope you're all doing absolutely amazing. In today's video I want to show you guys my morning routine currently as a dental student enrolled in my third year here in Berlin, Germany. We're taking part in a practical class and because of that I was fortunate enough to actually be going back to school this semester leaving online school behind for the most part except for afternoon classes and in the morning actually taking part in person in school so having a bit more of a normal morning routine i'm going to show you guys how i balance my fitness and healthy lifestyle with school in the mornings preparing myself for school whilst also having somewhat of a healthy life <laughs> being productive but at the same time not overworking myself so without any further ado let's get started I always prep my morning the night before by setting my alarm. I'm actually using the sleep mode that comes with the iPhone, in which I do find quite handy. It wakes you up very gently and it really helps me with tracking my sleep and reminding myself to actually go to bed on time. At the moment, it is set to wake me up at 8am because I actually had my last day at school this Monday when I filmed this video. But the past few weeks, I have been waking up between 6 and 6.30am. So once I've woken up and I've turned out all my alarms, I put my phone aside, do not look at it anymore and I just grab my workout clothes, sip a bit of water and then head on straight into the bathroom. I used to look at my phone first thing in the morning but I've recently stopped doing that and I can really tell that it makes such a positive difference. In the bathroom, I first of wash my face with a little bit of water and then I put in my contact lenses because I am literally blind and I prefer having contact lenses in instead of using my glasses and then I tie up my hair to be ready for my workout and brush my teeth. I'm using the Oral-B I.O. toothbrush and if you are not using an electric toothbrush right now, I really recommend you guys to make the switch because it makes the biggest difference and I'm highly obsessed. I then go on with making my bed and I have to confess that I am guilty of not making my bed every single morning but I'm trying to and I have to say it does make me feel a lot more productive and tidy to do so. So after prepping for my iced coffee and taking the dog out for a little potty round, I have to take a lovely little COVID test, which we have to take for school. And once I've done that, I will continue with journaling. I used to do journaling in a written book with handwriting, but I recently made the switch and I downloaded the five minute journal app, which is just literally called journal. And it works just like the five minute journal that you can buy on Amazon and it's just on your phone it's really really handy you can set reminders for it and i really recommend this app to you can't you see that so the next thing that i'm going to do right now is just a little workout i usually do 20 to 30 minutes of a workout in the morning and then if i feel like it's some cardio during the day but i have a bunch of other videos you can watch for that so i think i'm going to do a semi clark 30 minute full body workout now so let's go I 
I know working out in the morning definitely isn't for everybody and a lot of people like to get up 20 minutes before they have to leave the house. But honestly, I really love making the commitment of waking up early and being able to push in a 30 minute session in the morning and just get my body moving. It makes me feel really, really good and really productive knowing that when I come home after school, I already did something good for myself. And I personally have a really hard time waking up in the morning. So I found that if I work out in the mornings, it actually makes me feel a lot more awake, which is great. I am free trying to After my morning shower comes my favorite part of my morning routine, which is skincare. I've recently been obsessed with SkinCeuticals, which I know is quite expensive. As alternatives, I can really recommend The Ordinary or Inky List. And I start off by cleansing my face with the Glycolic Cleanser, just washing my face and getting rid of all of the sweat and dirt. And then afterwards, I'm using the Serum 10, which is an antioxidant followed by the Blemish and Age Defense Serum, which is for aging, but also pimples and breakouts. And then I finish it all off with the H&A Intensify, which is a hyaluronic acid. And of course, you can't forget your SPF. Wear well, your SPF, guys. This is like the number one thing I really can tell you is to never skip on SPF. Make it time. For my face makeup, I'm using the CC Cream by Iborian in the shade Claire and also using the matching CC Eye Cream in the same shade. I really love these products, they are colour adapting and they are leaving your skin with a really natural finish, still looking like skin and not like foundation. Afterwards, I'm using the Contour Stick by Fenty Beauty, so adding a bit of colour back into my face and the Cream Blush by Bobbi Brown. And once all of that is done, I'm topping everything off with a bit of powder all over my face and then I'm doing my brows. I really don't wear that much makeup for my everyday look, so to finish everything off, I'm just doing my lashes using a white lash primer and then my favourite at Lash Mascara by Marc Jacobs. I'm not opening my mouth whilst doing my mascara has taken me years of practice. Ew, my brows. Now they look a bit intense. Well, anyways, I'm gonna have a bit of a darker brow moment today. I actually spend the majority of my mornings at school from 8am till 11.30 plus cleaning time. We have class four times a week and even though there's still a lot of restrictions, I'm just so grateful that the government finally allowed us to go back to school after a year. Alright, so I got done with school and now I'm going to go back home and we're going to finish this morning routine. Of course, no morning is ever fully completed without breakfast. And even though it's already 12pm, I'm definitely going to have some breakfast now. And let me show you something real quickly. Matt is mastering his gardening skills and he found his new passion with our bezel. And he put it into a bigger pot. We have a really beautiful basil. He's putting a lot of effort in there. So I think I'm going to do a Weetabix bowl. It's really, it's a classic. And I know you've seen it on my channel before, but it always works. So let's make that real quickly. Thank you. 
Alright guys, so my morning has officially come to an end at 1pm and I'm ready to move on to the afternoon and just like that we are coming to an end with the morning routine as well. I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, don't forget to leave a comment, like and subscribe to never miss out on future videos and I hope I will see you guys next time. Up until then, stay safe and bye!